a 29 years old engineer presented with sudden severe headache and left sided hemiparesis. Immediate CT scan showed right sided frontal large hematoma. CT angiogram on the same sitting showed suspected right frontal premotor AVM artery of malformation involving the anterior surface of the precentral gyrus. CT angiogram showed right frontal premotor AVM involving the anterior surface of the precentral gyrus. MRI showed the same hematoma and suspected AVM. MRI picture of AVM was less distinct. So, from evaluation of the CT angiogram and MR angiogram, could found arterial supply of the AVM was from frontal branch of the middle cerebral artery, that is M4, venous drainage to the superior cerebral sinus, spatular Martin grade was 3, and supplementary grading was 5. So, decision was microsurgical excision of AVM with evacuation of the hematoma. Right sided frontoparietal craniotomy was used. Under general anesthesia, supine in position, head turning to the left side. After craniotomy, dura was opened, large draining vein into the superior cesseto sinus came into uh, view. Arachnoid incision was given. to dissect and free the uh, draining vein and also to keep it safe until the later uh, time of the AVM excision. Below the uh, draining vein, one can see the feeding artery from the end, uh, middle cerebral artery. Hematoma cavity was reached. By the way, the left side on the screen is the frontal side, and left side is the posterior part of the brain, and superior side of the screen is the temporal side, and inferior side is in the towards the superior cervical sinus, that is the midline. We entered into the hematoma cavity at the anterior and inferior part of the operating field.
the cerebral cortex being uh, right to the arterial vein is the primary motor area. So our dissection uh, was very careful when we are dissecting just anterior to the uh, primary motor area. We dissect the uh, AVM through the hematoma cavity and uh, posterior dissection that is the uh, dissection from the primary motor area was done through the glyotic zone to avoid any uh, damage to the primary motor area. and careful dissection towards the uh, posterior spec of the avian that is the anterior surface of the primary motor area, the central gyrus. Any intrusion into the primary uh, motor area that is the precentral gyrus was avoided. Finally, coagulation of the uh, principally draining vein and cutting it, removal of the uh, AVM and checking of the residual cavity after excision of the hematoma and AVM. Absolute homeostasis was done. Then, Buddha was closed in watertight fashion, and craniotomy was closed with a drawing. After operation, the patient recovered well from anesthesia and he was nursed in post operative ward. CT scan on first post-operative day showed evacuated hematoma and nothing abnormal like hematoma or function. CT angiogram on the same day showed excised AVM. The patient recovered his hemiparesis during his post-operative period was quite satisfactory and discharged on the 10th post-operative day except weakness in the left forearm and hand. He was on regular physiotherapy.